a wonderful day because we have got our Dr. Einstein from Canada. He is a very, very respectful person to me because he has come to Nepal three times just to visit us because of love. And he wanted to come to our college last time but time did not permit us. Therefore, this time we feel very much proud of his presence over here and he is going to present his ideas to you all dear students about how to successfully negotiate, how to manage our life successfully. So, during this hour, right, you are expected to pay full attention and have wonderful joy, dear kids. Thank you very much. I respectfully request our great, great, great chief guest from Canada, Claudia, a charity to deliver his presentation to our dear kids. Then you should uh, you should be able uh, you 
can take a swim test. Not easy, but number five. Okay. What was the transcendental matter with the people? You know, the people were negotiating the pressure. They were not happy. So what I feel to see, reverse the politics. 
and we say, well, if each one give and collaborate, the effort of the number one will be less. But it's because it's never been brought up like that. Where you have to, it's not a pattern that was very, very much deeper in the positive way. And this, all this comes from the positiveness. Is there a new, is somebody here who they know by any chance Dale Carnegie? Is there somebody who knows Dale Carnegie? But it's, it's, a, it's an author that wrote many titles, and one of them was How to Make Friends. How you make friends. I was told it was stupid things, but the principle behind that is develop the friendship, develop the relation. That's why when I said the gap is, and at the end I will show you something that I, I share about it. Lots of the guys here, well, most of them are 30 and it's 24. And, and it's lovely for me at my age to keep contact with people because as you get older, you are isolated, and you know that in your country here, how the elderly people are isolated. It's because it's to the youth to create your content, not to them. It's to you to develop that capacity of talking, keep them entertaining, and you have to develop that curiosity, you know. And I love it because I'm there myself at 69, and I can feel that. Most of the people, you know, are saying, well, it's easy for you. Well, it's very relative. My brain is there, but my body is not the same when I'm born. So that's why. But, and, next one. It, what is nice, you know? You see, when you're doing a negotiation, you could have before the negotiation what you call the mediation. You are sitting in front of two parties and you are listening to them. You don't suggest anything unless one suggests something to the other one. And, and you know what? You would be amazed to see how much they talk to each other. You, know? you are on each side of the table and you are just at the end and you watch them. If they could have cannon in their eyes, they could shoot the other one. You know? It's really terrific to see the way they deal. And, and every time the interests are satisfied of all of them, it's a success. You have to find interests of each other. And that's lovely, you know? And also, what is legitimate, no one has to take advantage of the other ones. Yeah, I do that. Thank <laughs> you.